It's your tech teacher here, and welcome to lesson one in Scratch. So we're going to build a little maze game in this lesson, and rather than me explain all these different areas, for instance, this is my player area, this is the area here where I can write a script, see the costumes of my player, or bring in sounds, and these are all the different blocks and the drawers where the blocks are found for programming our player. But rather than me explain everything, I think it's best that we do and learn this way by doing. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little scissors, I'm going to grab the scissors and delete my cat. Now I could have done this differently. I go to edit, undelete. I could have easily right clicked on my cat and deleted it this way. So there are always different ways to accomplish the same things. Now I'm going to go to this second drawer and it says choose new sprite. So it, it's going to take me into these default folders. This is what you're going to see on your screen. And if uh, I want you to go into the animals folder and double click on cat2. Now cat2 is going to become our player. So the first thing I want to do is rename this to player. Now if I wanted to make the cat a little bit bigger, I could grab the grow tool. I could also shrink our player and I could even clone our player if I wanted to make copies. But I think he's going to be just right for the game that we're going to build. So now we're going to, in this case, the player only needs one costume and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to start writing a script to control our player. We go into the orange drawer, the control tabs, we grab this second tile when space bar is pressed and space key is pressed, and we're going to change this little triangle arrow. We're going to make it to the right arrow. So when I press my right arrow key, our player is going to go right, but we need to add a little bit more code first. In the motion drawer, which is coded blue, I'm going to proceed down to the fourth tile, point in direction. And the direction in this case has to be to the right. So 90 degrees in scratch means to the right. And then finally, I'm going to move my player 10 steps. Now, if I press the right arrow, right space key, right key, my player moves right 10 steps each time I press. Now to speed things up a little, we can go to this top tile and we can right click and hit duplicate and simply change our code to left arrow and make sure that negative 90 is left. So let's see what that means. And you can see my player is now proceeding to the left. And actually in mathematics, we call those integers negatives and positive whole numbers. I again right click and duplicate. This time we're going to go up and in scratch up is zero degrees. And similarly we're going to make one more piece of code and we're going to go down this time. And that would be 180 degrees. And as you can see, right, left, up, and down. So that's going to complete. Now one more thing. I'm going to right click on some empty space here, and I'm going to say clean up. And you see it organizes my code very nicely. So come back for part two of lesson one, and we're going to build a little maze for our player.